Jake? I thought you said we were going on a supply run. Well, we are. Not long after the infection, we tried to search these buildings, but there were just way too many walkers around here. So we closed this whole area off until we had another chance to take a look. I don't know about this. This sounds really dangerous. We don't even know how many walkers are in there. Well, I was thinking that we could spend the night out here, then we'll create a plan tomorrow morning to do this effectively. That sounds like our best bet. It is getting dark out anyways. Alright everyone, let's get a good night's rest in preparation for tomorrow. Guys, I don't know about this. If we were going to handle this better, we should have created a plan before arriving here as opposed to just coming up with one on the spot. For God's sakes, Kyle, you really need to start believing in these people. We need this group to rebuild civilization. It's not that I don't believe in them. They just seem to be kind of incompetent. If these people really were that dumb, they probably would have been long dead at this point, or even gotten some of us killed. I agree. They're just learning. Just like how you and Brian taught us how to be stronger survivors. Well, I can just hope and pray that we can make them strong too, just like us. So you're telling me that you stay out here for days on end reading a map to look for new survivors for all of us to take in? That's just the job that I've been working since the beginning. After all, I did do a lot of people watching back in the day. Huh. <laughs> Never knew that you were so fascinated with people's behavior. I've just been that way since I was in college. Anyways, I saw you and Ralph dancing at the party a few months back. I was wondering what was up with that. Listen, it was just a one-time thing that night. Nothing more, nothing less. We're not in a serious relationship. Don't lie. I've seen you two hanging out with each other. Why exactly are you watching me go about my personal life? I don't see what you do during your day. Did you completely forget the conversation that we just had? I did people watching. That's why I'm Kentsville's recruiter. Has anyone ever told you that you're a terrible liar? <laughs> Surprisingly, no. Oh, thank God you two are okay. Where'd this little guy come from? We found him with this crazy woman out in the forest. Then she tried to wrestle my gun away from me, and in the process of doing that, it fired. Yeah. Then a large group of walkers started coming and she gave us the baby. Well, we need to go back out there to find that woman, and we need to reunite her with her baby. She's dead, Brian. She was already bitten when we found her, and she was too hurt to keep going, so we had to leave her behind. She's probably long dead by now. <sighs> Damn it. Now we've got to find someone to take care of him. There's plenty of people here and at the hospital. Surely someone will be willing to raise him. I hope so. Does he have a name? I don't know. The woman never told us his name before we got separated. Looks like we'll have to give him a name then. Who knows which one? There's so many names to choose from. I think we should give him an uncommon name. You know, a name that's underrated and isn't used very often. Mm. How about Scott? It's not used for too many kids these days. I think that'll work. You're gonna name him after Dad? Sure. What's the harm in doing that? I kinda like it. It fits him well. Alright, I guess we can do that then. Scott it is then. Do you like that little guy? Well, I think little Scotty Jr. approves. Here, I'll hold him. Go check the pantry to see if we have any baby food. I got it. I'll also check for diapers, powder, 
all that other expensive shit that babies need. He's cute, isn't he? Probably one of the cutest things I've ever seen in my life. So basically, when we originally closed this part of town off, we left some cars that are easy to climb over. I think that we can have at least three of us go over one of the low-hanging cars to see if the coast is clear. Right. Then the rest of us can get that tow truck moved out of the way. If we chain it up to the truck that we have, it should get it out of the way enough for the rest of us to get an easy entrance inside. Especially if any of these cars are salvageable, and if they have any gas in them, getting that tow truck moved out of the way will make things so much easier. If you'd like, I can be one of the folks to jump over the car to get in. I can take Dumb and Dumber in there with me. Hey, screw you, man. Be careful in there, Vince. Please. It's fine, Grace. It'll be just like clearing out that fishing hut all over again. Alright, Jake. It's all chained up. It should be good to go. Okay. On three. One. Two. Three! Okay, guys. That should be enough. Uh, Jake? I thought you said that there would be a bunch of walkers in here. Well, yeah, they're should be some still in there. Hang on a second. Do you guys hear that? Oh, that must be it. I've got it covered. You two start looking through some of these buildings to see if there's anything we can use. We're on it. <laughs> Take a look at this. Hey guys, check this out. This truck is full of tons of boxes of food and medicine. It practically looks untouched. Let's just hope that there's still some fuel in the tank. Well, ain't that a bitch. You going on a personal mission of yours, Brian? Emma and Alice found a baby yesterday. I've got to go find it some more formula and diapers. Maybe even some clothes for it if I'm lucky. They found a baby? Like, a living, breathing baby? What's his name? His name's Scott. I would named him after my dad. If you'd like, I can come along with you. You'd probably find a lot more supplies if we go together. Sure. I could use the company. Of course. I've really got nothing else going on today, aside from doing a little bit of patrolling around the walls. Wait, I thought that you were harvesting crops in the farms for a little while. I talked to Alex yesterday, and he talked to me again this morning, and needless to say, I'm not going to be picking vegetables anymore. Well, I'm glad to hear that. You're better at fighting anyways. <sighs> oh, I know I am. Shit, that's a lot of them. Stay calm. We knew that they were in here. We just have to fight them off. Kyle's right. This should be easy considering how many of us are here. We got this. Vince, try your best to keep them away from that truck. We're gonna need that. I'm trying as hard as I can. Get off me! Get off! Oh! 
God damn it, what the hell are you useless shitbags doing? God damn it. Kyle, get her over here, she's been hurt real bad. Is she alive? Yeah, she's still got a pulse, but we need to get her back to town. I'll get her into that truck full of supplies. You take the other truck and we gotta get the hell out of here. Okay, 